What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Russia. So to pick off where we left off, we are still absolutely swarming with Mughal troops and we've managed to secure Lahore and Kashmir um, to, which, which will allow us to push further inland. Um, however, my, my, major, my main plan is to move this force here at Bandar Abbas where our British tanker is allegedly being released sail down here to take uh, Ceylon. That would be the the grand plan. However, it's a bit dangerous to get this navy, which is fairly weak, all the way there. So what I want to do is to dump them in this port, bring my raiding cavalry army here to garrison it in an attempt to kind of um, keep this army from, well, making it not fancy its chances. And this army, which then survived a nice siege, this army came up here and captured this territory back from a sneaky Mughal force. And the forces are moving back with some very veteran infantry. The 57th Regiment of Foot is on six chevrons of experience now. We have this army down here under Igor Nitkin. They are moving down towards Basra and they're going to do a similar sort of thing. And um, this first army, I want, want to take Ceylon. This army, if possible, I would like to take Arcot, because uh, it's a very, very wealthy region. And then this other army, I would like to move to land and take Mysore. Um, or maybe Bengal, actually, from the British, because it does not look like it has fortifications. So it could be quite an easy, easy steal. But other things to worry about are, A, Punjab liking me, eventually. To be honest, if I, re if I re resent, uh, exempt them from tax, that should be okay. Got these armies on here, which are on this river border here, so they could either move and try to attack Kabul, where I'm preemptively trying to recruit a load of Indian mercenaries. And then I have another army, or another bunch of armies down here, which if they want to try and attack um, Naroon again, they're more than welcome. But how many battles have they thought out, fought over Naroon and it's just not worked? Um, the Ottomans I'm at peace with, and I'm just think I'm, yep, I'm recruiting a brand new army in Istanbul to push west to take Bulgaria, then I'd like to try give peace another chance because I'm not interested in really interested in fighting against the Ottomans um, but I will if they force me to I um, mean yeah, I'd like to take Bulgaria then try force another peace and yeah I think that's my my ultimate plan my research goals are coming along nicely get a nice industry bonus from from um, the steam engine and from the power loom and then a nice Wealth and happiness bonus from the abolition of slavery. Which is all to the good for us. Because I'm currently at war with so many major powers. And I would sooner not be if it was possible. But anyway, I digress. I think what I've got to do now is... Ooh, you can go catch up with them actually because they require troops. So what I'm going to do is merge you with you. No way, I have to do it in this one, I think. Three chevrons, three chevrons. So if I merge them together, good. Uh, so who do I want to merge with? I want to get rid of this unit, if possible, without diluting too much. Not sure if that helped. Either way, it freed up a third infantry slot, so this army is now at full strength. Send them down. Sweet. And this agent is on its way to start to convert Naroon towards my religion. Cool. So let's hit N10. Um, I don't even know if this tactic will work, if this will get me all the way there. I might have to land this army here in Mysore. But anyway, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, more religious people moving around. See, that might be worthwhile, because it gives me more naval movement longitude watch. Assuming I don't want to give them that, at least it's a fluffy green technology. Rather than a military tech or a... Or a... Um, psychological... Uh, I can't remember what the hell the purple called. I'm calling them political techs. At least it's uh, useful. Like, it's one of those um, technologies which... I generally find the farming ones are more of like a giant boulder where they're slow to get going, but when they get going and your army gets big enough, they have quite an impact. 
but they're not big enough to have a major impact like fire by rank or any of the uh, the naval tax or the um naval wealth tax because if i'm spain that's what i'm bothered about i'm a bit concerned as we now share a border so i might need to um fortify cairo a bit good leave sophia alone Although, to be honest, I might actually only need... I could send my main stack inland, recruit a small stack to take Sophia, because it doesn't look like you'll need it. Only a handful of infantry units and some artillery. There you go. The Mughal Empire are reforming their stacks. Their religious agents are falling back. Good. They have not raided my port, which they could. It's only cavalry. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Okay. Development in these areas now. So get you up to Georgia. Trading come later. So where's the mine? Aha! There's these regions coming. Okay, let's go do some building up. Boarding house. Do I need a boarding house here? Eventually you'll like me anyway. Particularly when I get rid of your... Um, oh no, I'll just keep you anyway. Gives me happiness and still, you still make money and you're not a problem. So you can keep it. Let's get some roads going. Okay, so now as you're far away, you shouldn't get interference. As will you. From any ra raiding Indian troops. I'm going to leave that alone because that's asking to be disrupted but to be honest if I do that let's reinforce and build probably another church school to be honest I'm gonna need it but importantly let's get this navy can you now you can now reach Ceylon longitudinal botch probably helped a good chunk Bam. Upgrade the trade port, get some tea production on the go. Now, one thing I will do, because I'm an absolute monarchy and generally the upper classes absolutely love me because of the government type, um, I'm going to tax the living hell out of them in both India and in Russia, because what's the point of having a super happy um, upper class if they don't pay you lots of cash? So now our cash flow has jumped from 20 odd thousand to 37,000 in one turn, which is lovely. Let's get you back down there. Got one turn, so I can't, I can't recruit anything. And I don't know if this navy will reach back there. No, it won't. Oh no, my fourths. No. Oh, no, they can raid their way up. So you land in Goa. Sweet. The next turn I'll do lots of infrastructure upgrades for them. Agent recruited a rake. So let's start sending rakes over into Prussia. Ah, oh, lost a gentleman in Moscow. Barbary states, yep, destroyed this turn by Spain. So that is a concern. Oh, the tax burden is harming... Oh, it's, well, it's causing... Right, okay, let's not do that then. Let's keep them, keep them flat. Keep regions growing, growth is more important. <laughs> Romilia is recruiting artillery. See, ultimately, this might be enough to attack Sophia. So it will. Let's get two units of militia over to Istanbul. Ankara is still really happy. Ironically, the, oh, 
they're resisting the, <laughs> the presence of the Ottomans in their territory, which is ideal. But yes, if I take Bulgaria, I'll try to I'll try go for peace again. Because I, I just don't want to bother fighting the the um, the Ottoman Empire. Let's spend a bit more money. No, you're all being replenished. Can't recruit, but you guys are being replenished, as are you guys. You're getting roads. Sweet. Cool. Well, that went well. Let's try it again. Oh, yeah, all my moves are catching up. Ah, my, my next Russian, um, proper Russian army. Oh, here come the British, hopefully to attack Sweden. Don't like where this is going. I suspect an attack on Cairo. Apparently, that's meant to be quite a big British hotspot. And if you own Cairo and they don't, they will just love to go for it. <laughs> that was a period of victory for the Prussians. Sure, they knocked out the, uh, the Polish, but at what cost? Once I capture India, I'll really have the the financial power to drive into Europe. Right now, I'm completely happy with just letting them do what they need to do. I don't want to water resolve it because it's only 50 50, even though they've got less than a thousand men. They've got four and a half thousand. But the same there, I mean, quite a good equilibrium. So that big Swedish stack isn't moving. They're more than happy. Yeah. I don't move because then they might start pushing up against Finland. I've got the annoying side battle against the Swedes to fight. Because when I want to, I want to spend my my main effort pushing down into India. So this is going to be a fairly offensive battle. I'm Russia. It's what I do. So I'm fairly sure they can't spawn anywhere except from behind them. Keep my militia back to cover the artillery. But the rest of my line move up These guys are just going to go straight over here. Not efficient deployment at all. But to be honest, I've got so many men, it doesn't even matter. Going on your own expedition, you guys will come along here.
do it the Russian way. And let's get all of these guys to have guard mode. Yep, yeah, all their guard mode is off, so they will chase. They will chase after units as they flee. There you go. Let's get some cavalry to sort out my infantry. One unit of cavalry ought to deal with these all of these artillery units. Let's charge them back up. Got to make sure they um, have a good shot at actually destroying their artillery unit. Good old Swedish Grenadiers. Although you can't, you can see that your position is quite hopeless. May as well quickly continue it because they're not going to be long till they flee the battlefield anyway. So it's just going to be chopping up this unit of line. Which is going for the scatter technique, which usually works. seem to be able to finish off a small handful of Swedes. Chop. Done. Unless the idea was for them to work well either. We're quite happy, sitting on our respective hills, glaring at each other. They're probably going to try and make the trip one of my, my universities. Of the ruling classes is affecting the wealth of this region. This is bad. Oh yes, I forgot about that. Long term. Temporarily decreasing taxation now means you can reap the rewards later. There we go. Build forts, just walls, just in case people try to invade you. And let's recruit a unit of nothing to go garrison this fort, this um, harbour. Cool, let's bring you back up here. You get into the port. Good. So let's get my navy. Can't go fast. They may as well just sit there. So over here, somewhere in this fog, is a British fleet. Got a unit of guerrilla mercenaries, 
So you're quite well garrisoned. You're quite well... Okay, let's send... That to Egypt. Because I'm fairly sure... This is why... This is where mostly the British go. Good. Oh, missed up some Mr. Chats to do some economics investing up there. Still replenishing. Need to rebuild you. What I could do, to be fair, is move you. No, I'm going to leave you in for now. Recruit a garrison, then move you west to hook up with these infantry from Kabul. Then move down on these guys. See, so these guys are in good fortune. I'd we'll like to wait for this army to be in position. Then in a coordinated fashion push across the river. Start to threaten these two settlements here. Good. Right, let's hit and turn. Oh yeah, this. I forgot about this. Good. I'd like to think it's because I fortified. Um, uh oh, no. I'd like, I'd, like, I'd like to think it's because they fortified uh, uh, Cairo that they pushed off, but probably not. See if that Ottoman stack pushes straight on to, yeah, and it will. Ooh, you want to fight, eh? I, to be honest, I still quite like my chances. You've got some couple of units, units of artillery and some muskets, but you know what? I've got two kick-ass mortars that will have quick climb and more than enough guns to keep you off the wall. So you know what? Let's do it. Still do it regardless, but sense sort of uh, feeling confident. Question is though, do I spend my artillery more to do counter artillery counter battery or do I spend their time attacking? I think I spend their time attacking. So they can come from there or there. Okay, so let's put men on the walls. See this can be why Far East walls can be a bit hit or miss. And to be honest, I'm going to put. I think I'm going to put some cavalry outside the walls to interfere with your plans. I think I've artillery there. Then what have we got left? Garrison, militia, general's bodyguard. Not terrible. firing quick climb now you're all in range and let's get you in position aiming at aiming at that wall go. Mm. 
Lots of dead Ottomans. Move you guys up here. Big quick climb shots. To be honest, I might rather use these guys to punish the infantry trying to scale the walls. And then let's make my make sure my houses don't hit my own troops. Pull you back, actually. Come on, get you guys firing your muskets into the melee, at least. Nope. It's bad for my janissaries. Bad for my cavalry, rather. Let's get you guys back up on the wall first. Don't do anything stupid like try. Let's unlimber. Get all of you. Hit this piece of ground right here. you fire a round shot at this corner that will kill a lot of a lot of janissaries good here's a breach you want a breach have it You need musketeers. You hit. Focus on their artillery at the back.
Run. Don't worry about that actually. Run. And let's fight the musket battle. Key them fighting to hold them up. Halt, fire, you, halt, fire as well. Go on, General, hit them. Get them wavering. Can you aim at them? Well, they might actually be these guys might actually be killed by their own men firing bows into the back of them. Who will you? my general out to hit these guys in the rear. Now actually stay in. Halt. Fire with my canister shot. Focus fire on this unit of artillery, even though it's my own. When these guys rout, which they will inevitably, at some point, these guys will switch to fire at will. To be honest, they may as well fire at will now. Two, yep, fire at will. Let's make these guys fire offensively into the pack. Stop deploying immediately.
fire round shot guys on the wall, I suppose. Good. So then let's get. Well, oh yeah, let's get everyone. You hit. One new ground is coming back, but right now I'm going to set them all to hold fire. Let my mortars pick apart their horsemen. Maybe use your round shot. And maybe... Shot into the gap. You, the twin, <laughs> you absolute tank of a man. You missed all that fire. The 20th Regiment of Militia, one guy. Good. Everyone fire on him. Oh, everyone fire on this unit, sorry. Alright, everyone hit the organ gun. I think this means he's fighting to the death. So it's my heart that's struggling, I believe. So I'm going to move them up a little bit. To be honest, they're all struggling, even though they should. If I do that, will you move? No, you're struggling too, I think. It's just this one that's actually can hit the target. But if I take you now... Take my artillery and limber. of the organ gun but there is no organ gun to no wait there they are so they really was about to say there's no organ gun to crew but sure there is so the one on the back just fire quick climb into that unit when they come within range Bring you back out. Don't you must I don't care if I lose this artillery or not. I 
particularly when they don't die fast enough for my horses when they die fast so quickly and my horses don't run away. Good. So what I'm gonna do is walk them here, unlimber them. I'd like them to actually route route and not come back. But yes, I just pretty much wanna get here in a straight firing position. Good. Whew. Got a bit hairy there for a few minutes when I realised that. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. That was touch and go in a minute. Yeah, I lost a lot of men. They lost twice as many. Let's hope they didn't come back. Uh oh. Stop, 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 stop. Good. Okay, that army in Bulgaria may have to immediately pull back. Or I try and make peace with them. Which would be ideal. Ah! Yeah, they're going to raid my port. Fair enough. There is unused land suitable so. for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Let's make money. Okay, well I'm definitely going to go ahead and do this because Istanbul is worth significantly more to me than Bulgaria is. Can't do anything in Bulgaria. Cool, so send military governor's barracks please. Kashmir's got roads, here have cobbled ones. Good. Let's replenish you. Let's get you. Oh, I need artillery, really. You go try and kill one of them. You try and kill one of them. Got him. Play more where that came from, Mughal Empire. Sweet, so then navy. Disembark there. Recruit unit of colonial line. Disembark the army. Move on to you. And let's get some of this abundant tea on the go. Let's get this, this, this. Give me the cannon foundry. Good. And I suspect I can probably leave you guys alone. Yes, I can. You just want to make money. To be honest, I'll do that. Boo them out. Then let's get going on some spamming infantry out of here before shipping you up to Bengal. Starting to look a bit difficult for the for the Mughals now, isn't it? <laughs> let's take you guys. Move you on to threaten this region. Maybe not to attack it. Lay we'll siege to it. Or we'll get close to laying siege to it. Cool. They're advancing a bit far ahead, but I can take that for now. Right now I just want to threaten as many aspects of the Mughal Empire as I can, force them to rebalance. Right here. Wicked. Well, looking at the timer, I think you've come to the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.